Hello everyone. I'm here with another vi uh, video for with a HP laptop. This is an HP EliteBook G3. The model is an 840. You can find that information inside the BIOS or right at the bottom of the laptop. Tattooed. Oh, the rubber comes. Uh, rubber fits are coming up. Right in here is tattooed. It says EliteBook 840 G3. All right. In this video, I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can replace the battery or remove the battery for your laptop. I get a lot of questions people asking, can I use the laptop without the battery, just plugged in? Sure you can, and the charger will last you longer. The motherboard will have less stress, even the charger will have less stress because it will not have to uh, give an ampere to the battery. So it's beneficial if you have it without the, char without the battery. But if you want to replace it because you want to use it in longer hours, it's not holding up any charge, you can do that too. So I'll leave the link for the tools and the replacement battery in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. All right, first thing first, you want to power it off completely. Then you want to grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set. From this tool set, I'll be using a Phillips number one. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an, an opening tools and some tweezers, few stuff. But for the opening tools, I like to use a guitar pick instead of traditional opening tools. Because these are really sharp, you can cut yourself. But with this one, there's no way you can cut yourself. So don't use that garbage. Use this one. All right, and you need a ne needle. The needle is just for these things that came off. They always fall off. The adhesive is really weak over the year. They just come off, so you don't even need them. You want to remove this rubber foot right on the screws in the middle, on the corners, anywhere that you can see, except the big ones. These two front and two back ones, you do not want to remove those. Just this circular rubber foot over the screws. Just remove all of them. They were right there. If you have an empty slot for the SD card, Push it out, remove it because there's a screw there that we need to remove. All right, now we removed all of the rubbers. What you want to do here is to remove all the screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them except one screw, which is right on the stick chart reader. This one is a little skinnier and a little longer, so keep that one separate. And now go start from one corner and remove all the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. Don't forget the screw in the middle. All right, once we remove all the screws, what you want to do, you want to grab the opening tool and you want to stick it between the bottom cover and the chalmers. And you want to just do it like this and you want to hit the click sound. Those clicks are okay because that's getting loose the clips. And once you finish that, you want to put your finger in here and thumb here and you just want to bring this one up. Do this on the board and the bottom cover will come out pretty easy. All right, and the battery is right in front of you. It says rechargeable battery. The model is an, I can't even see it. The model is a CS03XL. There's two screws that holds it, one right in here. The screws have a little C lock and a spring that will not come out. You just have to loosen them up. It will just pop out, it stay there. These two screws. And then you want to grab this handle and pull it towards the ceiling and then slide the battery forward. So there's the battery. And the spare part number four that this battery is going to purchase directly, it's 800-513-001. All right. Now that I say that you got the new battery, this is for demonstration only, you want to put the bottom end of the battery inside this box. And then bring it down and hook it right in here. It's press it right in here. And then you just want to unscrew it. I'm going to give you a good tip to, for the initial battery, uh, how to use, use your initial battery. If you want to remove the BIOS battery, it's right under this plastic in here. Unhook it, slide it out, and replace it. It's a CR2030 with a cable. All right, once you're done with this one, you want to grab the top cover. Set it straight over, push down the side, the corner, the back. You want to hit those tiny click sounds. And then you want to put the tiny screw, skinny one on the SD card. And then put the rest of the screws all over the place and finish it off by putting the rubber uh, legs over the screws. Now, regarding the new battery, once you have the new battery and you do not want to power on the laptop right away, you want to plug it in the charger and let it sit there for charging for at least three to four hours. After three to four hours, you wanna power on the laptop without the charger plugged in, and you wanna drain the battery very slowly 
that requires you to put the screen brightness down to 50 or less and put some videos, don't put any game or any hard uh, load on the CPU so you can drain the battery slowly down to 20 or 10 percent. Or as when it says uh, low battery, that's when you want to shut it down. Once you shut it down, then you want to plug in the charger again without powering it on, leave it charging at least for three to four hours. After that, you can just use it as you wish. That initial charge and discharge, it is very important and crucial for the new batteries. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next videos.